Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up. She picks this is our actual so first one. Since we had a little bit of a technical Definitely not a tech expert. <laughs> I'm sorry, what'd you say? Definitely not a tech expert. Me either. I play one on TV though. Yeah. I pretend. I know just enough to get myself in trouble. And that's my problem. <laughs> was like, I remember I, when I was working in television, we, I had a guy that worked with us and he did a lot of corporate IT stuff for, the, for Gannett, for the corporation I worked for. And this is back in the days like Windows 3.1. Right. Right. So I'm trying to get Windows 3.1 to act like, you know, Windows 10 now. I'm trying to merge stuff into like spreadsheets and put video <laughs> into stuff. And I'm shutting down computers left and right. And <laughs> yeah. I call me, okay, Marty, what'd you do now? I'm like, I don't know. Aren't they supposed to do this stuff? <laughs> it's a little ahead of my time. <laughs> ahead of your time, yep. So how are you today? Doing well, doing well. Got a job coming up today. Digging out a bunch of plants and putting some soil. So it's gonna be some hard work later. Well, you, you don't look, you're not dressed for that part. You, you look well, like I'm you're not there yet. <laughs> Gotta be an expert right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's an expert in fashion and what to do outside and what to do at your house. So let's talk about this because, you know, I told you before, your timing was perfect for what I'm doing because I'm selling my house. Yeah, except you didn't and hire us. I didn't. Um, yeah, um, my that was kind of a um, what, what do they say? Happy wife, happy life, sort of thing. Right. Right. And we actually we got everything done, so it was. It's a lot of work, <laughs> isn't it? It was a backbreaker. Let me yeah, tell you, it was definitely. a backbreaker. Um, you don't really think about how much stuff you actually have to do to prepare a house for sale. Yeah. How, what, what got you into it? Tell us about your business. What is it called and what got you into it? Yeah. So I own Home Settings LLC and we help homeowners get homes ready for sale. Uh, so it started out with my grandmother passing away and my mom having to move out to the family property. And um she had us come in and get her house ready for sale. And it was a lot of work, but uh, it was really satisfying. And it met all our existing skill sets. And we just decided that um, maybe there's more out there that need our help. Um, a few friends asked us to help after that. And just one thing led to another. So here we are. In a fast moving market, I'm sure you've got a lot of business, right? Yeah, no, there's always homes going up for sale and people needing help. So we get calls all the time. It's been fun, really. Yeah, I, what are what are some tips that you could give? I mean, I don't want to give away your secret sauce because obviously it's your business. No, nah, it's all right. <laughs> what, are, what are some tips that you can give? Because I know I ran into the wall with, um, I mean, our house did sell, actually. We already have an offer. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I mean, it didn't, I, I figured it would. I mean, we're in a pretty... We're over in, in the Bethel neighborhood. There's a school and a park across the street. Right. You know, a lot of um, residential around us. Shopping's real close. I mean, we're just. Yeah, houses are going super fast right now. I yeah. mean, even without doing anything to them. So that's. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, lucky. We have some stuff to do for the inspection. But uh, yeah. aside from that, um, like, what, what would you say are some suggestions? Because I know we were kind of surprised at some of the stuff that we had to do. Um, well, I mean, the number one tip that I get from realtors is to clean and really you can gain 403% in uh, profit by just decluttering your house, just making the space open and visible to a potential buyer is enough to get you a lot more profit. It's better than remodeling your kitchen for say, mm -hmm. just cleaning, uh, but getting down to the baseboards and the light fixtures and those little details make a big difference in the subconscious mind of the buyer on how well your home's been kept up. That's a really good point, because I always thought, you know, they would want to see, well, what does the house look like with people living in it? Da, 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 da. Nope. <laughs> they want to see a blank canvas, right? Because they want to be able to walk in and see what their life would look like in there, not somebody else's life. And I didn't even think about that. 
Yeah, um, that's kind of what the empty picture frames behind me are about. It's depersonalizing. Um, if they're seeing your life in the house, then they're, they're not going to be envisioning their life in the house. And it's super important just to get your personal items out of the way so they can envision their own, you know, their own pictures hanging on the wall. And Yeah, I was going to ask you about the empty, empty frames behind you. I was going to say, uh, do you have... Uh, I have no family. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that would be more like me. Uh, and I don't really keep up with my family. So that would be really indicative of what goes on. So do you find, so have you found that the, um, your business is affected more by the economy or where the way it moves? Or are you just always busy? So we're, I mean, always, so we're always busy, but uh, we keep open times in our schedule. And one thing we noticed was that real estate agents tend to call last minute needing jobs done right now. And <laughs> that's pretty difficult for businesses that have regular customers to fit them in their schedule. So we've set our business up to have open times every week so we can take on the last minute jobs and the one time quick jobs that come in. Um, so we stay busy, but we stay available at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I was to try to find a way to, I mean, is it better for the, the, the resident or the person selling the house, is it better for them to do a little stuff first or have you come in and like do an assessment? I mean, because you know, what's, what's easier? Um, I mean, whatever they're feeling like doing, some people get knee deep in the process and decide this is a lot of work and I don't feel like it. And they call us, you know, the last minute before the open house or um, some people give us a little more notice and we can help declutter and organize and get some of the stuff out of the way. Uh, it really, we can get a house done in a day or three. So that's inside, outside and all around. It was really, it's been really tough living here when we had people looking at the house. I was just... Cause I mean, I work out of this, out of my home too. So for like the first like seven days that I it was like, no, I'm sorry. It was three days that it was listed. It's like, I had to be out of the house like all the time. I'm like, come on, I can't even get stuff done. But uh, having to pack everything up, find everything. And now it's weird because uh, trying to like still live here while we're trying to get it ready for what we're doing next. They like can't make dinner because like everything's packed up and out of here. It's like, how do you really survive? Yeah, so. that is difficult. Uh, one of the tips that I give people to packing up their homes, uh, especially clutter bugs who have a lot of stuff, is to pack backwards. So pack like you're going to go on a vacation. All the things that you would absolutely have to have with you to survive for a month, pack all those wow. things first and set them aside. And then everything else goes into storage. And then all you have is with what with, with, all you have with you is what you need to survive for a month and you can live out of those couple boxes. That's a good idea. I like that. Pack backwards. Now, didn't you also say you had like some videos or something before? Didn't yeah. You, didn't you send me like a video to like look at or something like that? Yeah. So we have a few videos to help walk homeowners through the DIY process. You know, if you don't want to hire out, you want to do it yourself at home settings, LLC. Are they in your website? Backslash challenges. And it's got videos for how to pass the inspection and common issues that you'll run into, um, things like what matters when cleaning your home, what to do in the exterior, things like that. Okay, so I'm going to your website. And do I do, you said forward slash or backslash challenges? Whatever it is. <laughs> <The slash laughs> you put in there. What is that? Is it forward slash? Is usually forward slash. Well, then it's the forward slash. I'm not a tech expert. We went over this. <laughs> so let's try forward slash challenges. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I've been on the internet since I was 12. I've been saying it wrong this whole time, Marty. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's forward slash. <laughs> so I, I don't know what your view count is. This may help. This may help your view count. Now, it it might a lot. <laughs> now, let, me make, let me make sure. I'm going to share a screen with you to make sure that this is the right one. But, uh, so if I go here and I go, what, what would happen? Share screen. And I go here. Is that it? Oh, yep. There you go. Yeah, it's forward slash. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Quick note to self. <laughs> I just wonder what happened if we did back, back, backward slash. Where, where would we go? I'm just curious. See, now you got my, my oh. curiosity up. Is there a backward slash? I don't know. Yes, there is. 
Yeah, I think it's this one. There's the backward slash. Let's see where that takes us. Ah, it, oh, it goes to the same place. Yeah. So how about that? So if you try to do a backward slash, it auto corrects to a forward slash. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> we just learned something today. This is a problem today. We all have autocorrect on our spelling. We've done forgotten how to spell. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I've relied on it way too much because I used to get teased a bunch or get hardcore just like called out because with ADD, which I'm very highly, um, I get just going, especially long form writing, and I just forget stuff. And it's just like, what? Oh my gosh. Hey, sorry, one second. Life's calling and I'm live. This is just crazy. <laughs> hey, I'm live right now. What's happening? Put this link in the Facebook chat window, Thank even you. though people can see us there. That way people can see that if they, whoa, whoa, well, wow, that is cool. <laughs> You see what it's doing? Yeah. In Facebook? Interesting. Wow. Why is it doing that? I don't know. That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to stop that crap right now. That's just weird. Wow. That was some weird stuff. Did you guys wind up doing the exterior part and your landscape maintenance too? The only thing we got dinged on the outside was um, when the inspector went through, he found some valve or something next to the house. And he says, check to see if that's like sewer. And we're like, I don't know what that valve is. We've never really paid attention to it. So we got to check it out. But that's it. Everything else was fine. Yeah. Um, there were actually, no, I take that back. Um, we have to uh, check the um, caulking and a couple of seals on the shingles and we do have to do the roof but aside from that right yeah um a good thing to look at is like all the seals and seams around your windows and around your tubs and showers things we just don't see living in our own homes on a daily basis so just yeah. checking those seals and making sure to cover up any past water damage because even if a, a leak has been fixed it they still want to see that the damage is no longer there so yeah we didn't think about that because he used some kind of sensor to check the floor moisture or something right. I was like, what's that all? but i guess that does make sense i mean because to your point if it's been fixed that doesn't mean that the floor underneath it's not messed up yeah right yep. so well um what well what's what's uh i guess it's like i said you know we got three more of them of these are two more of these what this is the second week we got two more of these so i'm not gonna burn all your time so what's a good tip for today what's a good tip for today and then we'll do another one next thursday a uh, good tip for today is yeah. depersonalizing and decluttering that's the biggest pro most profitable step that you can take in getting your home ready for sales just getting your personal stuff out of the way so they can see themselves in the home depersonalize and decluttering okay yeah. So the DP and the DC, you know me. <laughs> That's right, Marty G. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rochelle, you are a joy. I love talking to you about this stuff or just talking to you for plain old stuff. Right. We're, gonna go, we're gonna dive into the other stuff too because you're a minister too, right? Yes, I am. Or a justice of the peace or a minister? A, a minister, I do wedding. I'm, I'm curious about that too. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask you that question before we leave one another in these next couple of weeks. But I do appreciate you and I will put your contact information in the chat. And I'll also make sure that I link this to your Facebook page and everything else as well. And when I do have the recording, I'll make sure I shoot you the link for it. And folks, if you have any questions for Rochelle or me, uh, let me know. And uh, Rochelle, if you have anything else, you know, let me know. And we'll All right. talk about it next week. Cool. Thank you. It's nice having me on here. Thank you. Thank you for being on. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Okay.